Hi guys, welcome back to GPFW. Today we're focusing on one player and that player is Mason Greenwood of Manchester United. And this video is going to look at why he is the best youngster in the Premier League right now. Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood. Greenwood is... I mean Greenwood. Greenwood. Yeah, he's a fantastic goal scorer. I've said it so many times. The better of everything. Goal scorer is quick. He's just uh, this talent and he... Look at Mason Greenwood, a bad man! So let's start with the background of him. Obviously, 18 years old, came through Manchester United's academy, and he has been <clears throat> a revelation this year for Manchester United as a young striker coming into the team and making a big impact. 16 goals in all competitions for the senior team this year, and he has four goals and an assist in his last three games in the Premier League, and he's really starting to show why he is such a good player. So let's look at why he is so good. The first reason why he's so good is his directness in attacking situations. What I mean by that is he has this ability to drive into the box and create space for himself and he's so direct that he's, he's always looking for goal. And that's a sign of a true goal scorer, someone who always wants to score. They have to be a bit selfish as well sometimes, which you've seen him in those situations, he'll just shift it straight onto his right foot, left foot and go for goal, which is maybe seen selfish from the outset, but that's going to score, that's going to mean he's going to score a lot of goals over his career. Best example of all this coming together is his goal against Brighton away recently when he scored the opening goal. He plays on the right, so he comes driving in from the, uh, the right-hand side and he's on his left foot. He cuts in, he's making defenders twist and turn and he gets, he gets his shot off early and, and, and scores a very good goal in the near post. And the way he drove into the box is reminiscent of a, a young Cristiano Ronaldo when he was at Manchester United. In this goal we see against Norwich as well. He gets the ball, turns the goal, there's four defenders in front of him and he just drives, shifts onto his left foot and gets a shot away, which is very basic, but <clears throat> a lot of strikers would, would stop, look for the pass, or you know, wouldn't have the confidence to just go and drive and do that. But at such a young age to be able to do that is, you know, it's, it's great. The second reason why he's so good is that he is extremely both footed. Um, obviously most players are both very capable of both feet, but Greenwood takes it to an absolute another level. Um, and look at this video now, we can see him that he takes a penalty with his right foot against Tranmere and the majority of goals you'll see in this video and that you see him score with his left foot. Um, so it, it's it's clear that he has extreme confidence with such a young player to be able to do that and to the ability of both feet is just incredible. It's so dangerous for defenders because you don't know which way to show him. <clears throat> Similar to like a young Ronaldo, you know, if you shift him onto his right, you, know, you have to show him onto the weaker foot, which will be the left foot or the right foot in Greenwood's case. And Either way, either way the shot is, is getting off and it's just as lethal either foot with the goal we saw against Brighton and especially the goal against Bournemouth which is an unbelievable finish to be dragged that far out away from goal and then to produce a top corner finish off balance is just, it's just incredible. This is a big measure of his talent to be able to be so good with both feet and it's one of the main reasons why I have him as the best youngster in the Premier League. On to the third reason, it's, it's his quick feet and his ability to get his shot off early which is why he's, he's such a good player. I remember Graham Souness once saying um, that all good strikers have quick feet and what he means by that is quick feet in the box in theory means it allows you to take the ball into tight areas where there's a lot of players and it means you can shift the ball into positions where you can get shots away and then obviously the shots equal goals over a period of time and Mason Greenwood definitely has that. It comes back to the idea of the directness that I was speaking about before um, but obviously getting his shots away early means that defenders aren't set, which means they have less chance of blocking the shot. And the goalkeepers are less set as well, so they see the ball later, which means they've got less of a chance of saving it. As we saw again, the goal against Brighton and in the goals against uh, Watford as well. So it's something that means he's always going to score a lot of goals. Um, it's, it's a trait of top strikers and you know, it's incredibly hard to stop. So there were three reasons why I think he's the best youngster in the Premier League. Um, Moving on for the future for him, you're looking at him being, you know, in the future to be a central striker. But it doesn't mean in the future that he's going to necessarily stay on that right wing. You know, he's probably going to move into that central striking position, similar to how most wingers eventually move into the centre and become central strikers, like Thierry Henry did when he first came to Arsenal. He was a left winger, and then he found himself moving centrally, and then that's where he spent all, all his career. And the same with Cristiano Ronaldo, who's a winger early on, and then you know he transfer, transformed his game into that other central striker, and, and that is, I imagine, what that's what we're going to see from Greenwood as the years go by. And we've seen hints of this already when he played, he plays up front for 
Man Manchester United in the Europa League games and he's been successful there and also we've seen him drift into central areas and pick up the ball and, and score goals there and most notably the goal against Sheffield United where Marcus Rashford played you know, a really, really good cross in and we saw Mason Greenwood picking up a position that is something that you would see from a seasoned striker um, right in the middle of the, the six yard box and he was there to, to tap the ball in which may seem just like a, a simple thing but for him to be able to you know, pick up those positions we were not originally been playing them, he came on in the right wing um, it, it shows that he'll be able to do that in the future and we'll see him move into that potential striking role for Manchester United and England. In terms of comparisons, obviously the best English youngster probably of all time or the top two definitely are Michael Owen and uh, Wayne Rooney and Wayne Rooney is the comparisons are very much there you know for both young English and uh, Manchester United players both forwards um, you know and it seems that he is on the way to to greatness um, Rooney was scoring at the same the same age he was scoring 15 goals and eight assists you know at 18 and 19 in the Premier League which is you know create good stats for anyone never mind an 18 year old 19 year old coming into the team so um, Greenwood so far is on nine goals in the Premier League but at the age of 19 Michael Owen had a nine goal season and an 18 goal season in the Premier League so it just shows how uh, the level that these players are, you know, they want to aspire to, Green wants to aspire to, that these two are top, top players and Michael Owen won the Ballon d'Or at 21, which was a year before Messi won it, so that can show you just how, how high the levels are and if the comparisons, you know, continue to be linked to Rooney and, and Michael Owen, you know that Green was on track to have, you know, a fantastic career. If you look at the comparisons here, it's the Prem record before turning 19 for Wayne Rooney, Cristiano Ronaldo and Mason Greenwood. It shows here that Wayne Rooney had the the most goals and assists by by quite far with with 23, and second highest is Mason Greenwood with nine, and Cristiano Ronaldo only had three after well before turning 19. Um, but what what really is important the stat we see is the minutes per goal involvement with with Wayne Rooney's minutes per goal involvement being 180, and Ronaldo's being 302, but Mason Greenwood's is is by far the highest with a goal or an assist every 115 minutes. So the other youngsters in the Premier League, I mean, you've got the likes of Saka, Phil Foden, Rhys James, Gabriel Martinelli, and I just think that Mason Greenwood is performing at a level now where he's a starter week in, week out. Um, he's someone you can't leave out the Manchester United team. He doesn't look out of place and he looks, you know, he looks like the, you know, the player with the most ability when he plays. He looks like a special player, which is it's hard to stand out at senior level when there's so many good players. So guys, that was my video on Mason Greenwood and why he's the best why he is the best youngster in the Premier League. Stay tuned for more videos over the next few weeks, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notifications for all the latest videos that are coming very soon. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the video. Um, let me know what you think about Mason Greenwood, how far do you think he can go in football, and do you rate him as the highest youngster in the Premier League right now? And if not, the world perhaps. So let me know down below. As always guys, thanks for watching, stay safe and I'll see you soon.